Happy birthday, Dan Smith. I want you to know that I am making you a mixtape and it should be on its way shortly. I hope you're all having a fabulous celebration and I wish I could be there. Right now I'm in Arizona with my nephews and my sister. We're about to head up to Nevada because my brother's getting ordained this weekend and that's the only reason I'm not there living it up with all of you in Peoria right now. At any rate, I wanted to say I've always appreciated your love of life and your creativity. I think most typified by those wonderful Halloween parties that you threw. I think my favorite was, come as your favorite villain. And I don't know if I've ever laughed as hard as when Matt Ripper answered the door dressed as you. And I don't know if I've ever screamed as hard as when 20 minutes later, you burst out of your bedroom dressed as John Wayne Gacy. I'm sure that Sarah Netsley is curling up in a ball right now at the thought of you dressed up as a killer clown, but that kind of makes it worth it just a little bit. Have a wonderful birthday and a great rest of your celebration. You're a wonderful individual, and I will just sign it off by saying, Dan Smith rocks my world. Dan. Dan. I love you. I love you more. You don't know her. No, you don't. But you do some more. We're at like a four o'clock bar right now. It's two thirty-five. We're headed to the bar. I just want to say, like, you should be really proud of all of the uh, things you've instilled in me. Karaoke. Becoming a woman. Okay. Look, you're a stranger to everyone that's here. Tonight. Hello. It's nice to meet you. Okay. This is Joe. And I'm Mandy. No one knows you. Uh, Dan, back, back to you. I want to thank you for instilling sassiness. Creative mind thinking. Yeah. yeah. All of that. Dan, I thought you were 50 when you were coaching me back in the day, but you're actually 50 now. So you look freaking amazing. I don't know. Now now there's a foreign guy. Oh, okay. He was brown. Indeed, he was. <laughs> we love you. I love you, Dan. He doesn't know who you are. You see me in shows, Joe. I love you, Dan. I love you, too, Dan. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Dan Smith! Well, it's your South Florida crew here. What up? What up? It's Wendy Grave, Carrie Spencer, just in case you weren't clear on that. Well, since we could not be there, we thought that we would get some audience participation. Right, Carrie? Absolutely, Wendy. So, by show of hands, first question. How many of you thought that Dan was like seriously already 67 years old? I mean, let's exactly. Who didn't? It's fine. We still love you. Absolutely. Carrie, hit us with the second question. Thank you, Wendy. By raise a hand, how many of you have been positively impacted by Dan Smith and his half a century of life? I mean, why do you always have to be the nice one? I mean, Shit. All right, all right, all right. Two hands, two hands. Oh, it's my bush light, y'all. Happy, Happy birthday, Dan. Happy birthday, Dan. Oh, and by the way, now that you're officially old, perhaps you can come down here to South Florida and visit us with the rest of the old people. I mean, look behind us. It's really not so terrible. So hopefully we'll see you soon, birthday boy. That's right. Bye. Happy Bye. birthday. Happy birthday. Love you. Dan, I hope you haven't forgotten your favorite student of all times, Noelle Young. I'm really sorry that I can't be there to celebrate your 50th birthday party. I wish I could. Currently, I'm in Quebec speaking French. I'm currently breaking the rules to speak in English to make this video for you. And the day of your party, I'm going to be traveling from Quebec to Florida to celebrate my parents' 50th wedding anniversary. If it had been any other time, I definitely would have been there. So hopefully sometime in the near future, I can make it to the great town of Peoria to visit you. I wanted to let you know how very special you are to me in my life. Even though I haven't been the best at keeping in touch, you will always hold a special place in my heart. I think the first time I remember meeting you was when you were a judge for my semis of impromptu, I think at nationals my freshman year. And I remember you making the effort to come up to me after the round telling me 
how you think I did a, or thought I did a really great job. And that meant a lot. I was very excited the next year when you came to Bradley. And even though you were a little intimidating when I was in your office and I often had hard time giving impromptu and extent speeches in front of you, you always gave me great feedback. And more importantly, you were a great friend. From you, I think I developed a sense of sarcasm and wit. You know that I'm not really great at planned humor, so I'm not going to try to be funny in this video. Um, I hope other people are taking on the role of roasting you, but I just wanted to let you know that I hope you have a great 50th birthday. I hope it truly was a surprise with all of your friends coming to Peoria to celebrate with you, and I hope to see you in the near future. Enjoy that new hip of yours, and hopefully I'll be able to celebrate with you soon. Love ya. Bye. Hey Dan, sure we can't be there for your birthday or run our annual baseball pilgrimage. We're here in Tampa, but we all love you and wish we could be there for your big birthday. So on behalf of all the fellow IU speech team teams here, happy, happy birthday, birthday Dan. Dan. I love you. Love you. Hey Dan, sorry we can't be there to celebrate in person, but we're sending all our love from Florida. Happy birthday! What he said. Happy birthday, Uncle Dan! Happy, happy 40th? <clears throat> 45th? <clears throat> happy 50th birthday, old Yay! man! <laughs> happy 50th birthday, old Yay, man! Old man. Oh yeah! Thanks, thanks for teaching um our parents. I think they really liked you. While you're have while you are a coach. Same here. Same here.